In this video, um, what I want to discuss um, is the role of the Christian person in in the world. Um, this video is for Christians uh, because basically what I, what I want to discuss here has to do with um, <clears throat> has to do with what the Bible says that our lives should be like. What the Bible says, and according to the Christian perspective what God says that our lives should 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 be like um, and this it's also for for atheists people who don't believe God also because um, I want to kind of give a perspective of who Christians should be and who we really aren't being um, and now I'm not gonna try to you know sit on you know, I'm not going to try and lecture people who don't act the way the Bible says that Christians should, because I'm guilty of the same things. Um, but I think that we all should try to live a certain way. And I guess what I'm talking about, what I'm, just what I'm talking about, is has to do with the way Christians converse with people who don't who don't believe in, in, in God at all. The way Christians talk to them, the way, the way Christians argue with them. And I guess I want to speak something to that. Um, first of all, the Bible and God, um, within the Christian perspective, the Christian practice of belief for formation, um, that basically says that the Bible says that we are supposed to be people who are loving. Um, according to the Christian belief, Jesus Christ died for all of our sins. And, you know in the crucifixion story that most everyone knows um, but he according to to Christianity and that's something that I, that I believe and you know, Christians believe in 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 general um, we, we believe that that he died for all of our for all, for all, all of our sins and that um, God is love God doesn't have love God is love and God through Jesus, Jesus Christ, basically he, um, he came to Earth in order to prepare a way for people to come to God, to, for people to see God, and he he died for our sins, went to hell, and went back to Earth, and then up to up to heaven, and he made that that sacrifice. And what he did there is he purchased a quality of life that everybody on earth can seize and can take and ha can have this quality of life which is above and beyond anything that we can possibly imagine. Because according to Christianity and according to my beliefs, God and what he believe in, or God and God and who he is and is greater than anything that we can possibly con 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 conceive of. <clears throat> so basically what I, I want you, you, you to understand at the forefront here is that Christian that Christian doctrine according to what Jesus did is that they, there is a, a, a an outrageous and amazing quality of life that is just amazing and regardless of what of whatever problems we have we can still have a, a, an amazing and outrageous and awesome quality of life and Jesus bought that for us and I guess what I, what I what the purpose of me making this video is to kind of speak to what the role of a Christian person should be um, when we talk to people who are non-believers or people who are believers of a different of a different doctrine. And I guess I'm the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen Christians respond to atheists like Jacqueline Glenn, Mr. Repsion, Pat Condell. Um, and even Professor Anton, and various other ones. Oh, um, in in Mendham, who's a famous uh, famous on YouTube anyway, and antinatalist. Um, Christians respond to these atheists in a way which makes the atheist look like a is trying to make the atheist look wrong and like a bad person, and it's basically in uh, the cr Christians many of them 
they talk to atheists and not non-believers and believers of like different religions, which makes them makes the the non-believer out to be um, a bad a bad people, and they and they come at it with a position of of prosecution basically, and says that hey your 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 way of life is wrong and you will pay for that. I want to say that that is entirely wrong. The Bible says that it is wrong. Um, we should, you know, and, uh, basically, and I guess the, the the thing that made me think about making this video was um, the recent okay. um, video that Jacqueline Glenn made in response to a Christian called Venom Bing, um, who um, used a lot of ad hominem fallacy that the it's a fallacy of where they don't really go they, they don't really argue with them they don't really argue with the person they just insult insult them and venom fame venom fame basically insulted Jacqueline Glenn and you know did a lot of other things and made her look like a, a bad person basically um and I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I've been there before I've been a I've been in a position of arguing with with atheists when and it's like the thing with the field of Christian apo apologetics in my opinion Christian apologetics does nothing because it's talking about it's talking it's arguing against people who have different belief who have different epistemic belief or for forming for, for processes you know and it's just useless arguing when when we can when what we should, when what Christians should should be doing to non-believers, we should be showing them love with our time, and um, our encouragement and our words, and just you know the way God has poured love out on us, we should pour out love out on unbelievers and any and anyone else. And in the way that that is done is through through sacrifice, which means giving our time, giving our money. Um, you know, uh, building people up with words, with kind words, and just showing love. And one good example of this would be uh, what a uh, certain church that I that I have gone to in the past, but don't really go to anymore. What they do is, aside from the offering that they've taken, you know, for us for for, for for every Sunday they do this thing where they ask people to give one one extra dollar, and you know, normally with between two church church services, you know that will collect up to like eight hundred to a thousand dollars, and they will just give that to somebody who is a, who is a non-believer or is just outside of the church, and doesn't really go to church or anything like that, just to show the kind of love that God is, and we should show love with a with with practical action, show love by being. Who God wants us to be, being holy, um, by, you know, again, just giving our time, giving our money, um, help help people with whatever they need, and build build people up with words. And I think Christianity has kind of blown it in that. And again, I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I've blown it too. I've very, I've very much so blown it, um, and I'm I'm recognizing that. And um, I think that. Christianity, uh, that Christians on YouTube or on any other so so social media platform, or just in person to person talking, in the re in uh, real life, we shouldn't go. We shouldn't go at atheists with a prosec with in a in a prosecution like way or a, a accusation like way. Um, and again, I've seen this. I go. I go to. University of uh, of uh, Nebraska Omaha, and they have a Christianity uh, group on campus, and the one guy that runs it, um, he sometimes gathers crowds and talks about it with with people on campus, and I don't like the man um, because he has called people he has called students on campus fools, he has called them um, wrong, and he's gone at them with a prosecute. In, at, like as if as if he was prosecuting them or accusing them and going at them and, and like like attacking them basically, and I've st stood there and watched that between walking between classes, and one person who who uh, came up to me 
he he asked me what I what what I thought of it. And I told him. I told him that I didn't think that. Told him that I told him that I didn't think that the way to go, what the way to talk to unbelievers, is the way that he's doing. I think you should he's he's doing it wrong. He's talking to unbelievers the wrong way. And I was talking to him for a while, but that's just an, an example, an, an example of many. And there's been so many in instances of people of Christians on YouTube who, via, via a comment or a, a video response, attack Jacqueline Glenn or Mr. Repsion or um, Inmendum or various other people. And there, there's many. I've watched many. And I just think that whether on YouTube, whether on Facebook, whether in person person talking, it it doesn't matter. We need to be the love that God has given, has shown us. Be as loving as God um, has been to us, and not and not go at non-believers of any kind in a in an attacking way, and just. Show them love because God has sh sh shown us love. And again, if you're an atheist and you're watching this, this is the way that this is what the Bible says that a Christian should live. This is this is what the Bible says that a Christian should be, not the way most of them are. Most Christians, most 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 anyone, most anyone really, are hip hypocritical. They don't follow through on what they on what they say say say, say that, they, that, that, that they will do. Um, they don't. They will you know go. They'll go to church and then you know do random other things and they don't really live by that. Even though they label themselves with the Christian label and will attack others for not believing, even though they their lives are not really in line with anything that the Bible says. Now I'm saying I'm, I'm not saying I again I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I've been there I've done that and I think someone at some point needs to point out that this is not the way people should, should live you know it's fine you know every, everyone sins but I think the way that we need to go about talking with people who are who are who are non-believers is to say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna persecute you for believing differently. But I'm here to talk to to talk. If you have questions about about my beliefs, and you know, I want I want I want I want to talk to you about you about your you about your, your your beliefs, and we can just be friends, and we can talk about this. We can t we can talk about things without being any persecutionary kind of attitude between each other, and we can just be friends, and we can talk, and I can, as a Christian, and what I believe, I can show you the love that that that. that the Lord has sh shown me, and we don't have to. Per we don't have to talk to unbelievers in a persecutionary way. That's that's basically what what, what my point is. Um, if you have any comments, comment below. Um, and again, you know this is. You know there's there are always going to be Christians who are like this, who are, you know, who 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 attack on un un unbelievers verbally. And you know it's just like the same thing how Islam, who uh, Muslims and Jews have been fighting over Israel for as long as as long as there's been um, Israel. I mean, I, I don't really know too much about, about about history, but one thing I do know is that people are going to fight over religion. And they're going to fight over the true religion, and people, believers of different religions are going to attack each other and I think that's that's wrong